probability generating functions, and for shorthand, we use the term PGF. This is a sort of a quite difficult concept. Anyhow, this is a technique helpful in setting up some discrete models and finding their parameters. So, if the probability of obtaining 0, 1, 2, up to n discrete values successes as a result of some experiment are p0, p1, p2, pn, then we can form and the expression g of t is equal to p0 plus p1 times t plus p2 times t squared, etc. up to pn t to the n. This is called the probability generating function for that experiment. The dummy variable t has no real life meaning but the power of t acts as a label for the probability. For example, the probability generating function for the sum of two dice and the numbers that two dice can take are 2, 3, 4, all the way up until 12 6 plus 6 is 12 is g of t now the probability of getting a 2 is 1 out of 36 t squared so the 2 is the label for the probability plus 2 out of 36 t cubed plus 3 out of 36 t to the 4 and so on up to 2 over 36 t to the 11 plus 1 out of 36 t to the power of 12. So just writing that out again. Note, when t is equal to 1, we're going to get this. g of 1 is going to be 1 out of 36 times 1 squared, 2 out of 36 times 1 cubed, plus 3 out of 36, 1 to the 4, and so on, up until 2 out of 36 to the 1 to the 11, plus 1 out of 36 to the power of 1 to the 12, which will be 1 out of 36, plus 2 out of 36, plus 3 out of 36, and so on, up until 2 out of 36, 1 out of 36, and this will be equal to 1. So for any probability generating function, g of 1 will be equal to the sum of the probabilities, which will be 1. So we always have that note that g of 1 for generating function will be equal to 1 one of the first properties. Now consider the following discrete probability distribution. We've got x 0, 1, 2, 3 and 2, the n. And we've got the probability of p x is equal to x and we're going to let the probability be in p 0, p 1, p 2, p 3, p n. Now g of t is p 0 plus p1 times t, plus p2 times t squared, plus p3 times t cubed, plus pn up to t times t to the n. If you differentiate this, you're going to get 0 times p0, 1 times p1, 2 times p2 times t, 3 times p3 times t squared, up until n times pn t to the n minus 1. If you put t equal to 1, then g dash to 1 will be 0 times p, 1 times p1, 2 times p2, 3 times p3, n times pn. Now you will recognize this is actually finding the expectation for this probability distribution. So g dash to 1 is the same as the expectation of the original probability distribution function. The previous probability generating function could be written as g of t for all x of probability of x is equal to x t to the x and note that this is actually similar to the expectation as well. This p of x is equal to x times t to the x 
So the probability generating function is also the same as the expectation of t to the x. So g dashed of t will be equal for all x of x times the probability of x minus x, x is equal to x, sorry, t to the x minus 1. So you're taking the x down in front, differentiate it. If you do it again, you're going to get x times x minus 1, if you're going to bring that one down, times the probability of x is equal to x, t to the x minus 2. If you put t is equal to 1, g double dash of 1 will be x times x times 1, x times x minus 1, times the probability that x is equal to x, 1 to the x minus 2, which will be the sum for all x of x squared minus x, expanding that bracket, times the probability of x is equal to x, And then expanding this, we're going to get the sum for all x of x squared times the probability of x minus the sum for all x of x times the probability is equal to x. Sorry, this is x squared times the probability x is equal to x. So this is e of x squared, and this is e of x. Now the variance, so g double dash of 1 is equal to that. Now the variance is equal to e of x squared minus e squared of x. We haven't quite got the same thing, but we can do a little trick here. And write this as e of x squared minus e of x plus e of x minus e squared of x. So this is a little trick here to make this the same as the variance. Now, we know that this bit here is the same as g du double dashed of 1, so we'll replace it with g double dashed of 1. This is g dashed of 1, and this will be g dashed of 1 all squared. So the variance of x will be the g double dashed of 1 plus g dashed of 1 minus g dashed of 1 all squared. So summarizing what we've found, g of t is equal to sum of all x of p times x is equal to x t to the x. G of t is also the expectation of t to the x. G of 1 is equal to 1. Mu is equal to e to the x, which is g dashed of 1. And the variance is equal to g double dash of 1 plus g dash of 1 minus g dash of 1 all squared. So that's a summary of what we've found out so far.